Stage two of Commonwealth Golf Club's course restoration is well underway, with much of the preparation work already completed. With spring comes warmer temperatures, improved growing conditions, and the return of our principal architect from Renaissance Golf Design, Brian Slornick. A primary focus of this project is uncovering and showcasing the full extent of the quality of this property and the golf course that inhabits it. My colleague and mentor, Tom Doak, said it's a puzzle that's uh, perfectly put together. He looked back to 1988, the first time he had the opportunity to visit the place, being really struck by uh, the unique nature of the course, the quality of the routing itself, and the features as well. Key to stage two is Renaissance's plan to bring a sense of harmony to Commonwealth. So the southern part of the course sits comfortably alongside the highly acclaimed northern holes, which were restored in the first tranche of the project. This harmony extends not only to the fairways, tees and greens, but also to the restoration of the natural landscape and the replacement of non-native and northern hemisphere trees with local species that form part of the traditional native ecology. Commonwealth staff are working closely with ecological experts and landscape architects to deliver a congenial environment in which both nature and golfer can sit happily side by side. His tee shot is perfect. Commonwealth has long held a reputation as a tournament venue and one which has always been able to identify some of the world's leading golfers. Yanni Sen goes back to back. The course restoration promises to enhance Commonwealth's ability to produce players capable of winning on the world stage, a testament to the strength of the course and its unique design. And what's most important is the preservation of Commonwealth as a friendly community club, which provides opportunities for people to learn and enjoy the game in the natural environment of the Melbourne Sandbelt.